Hey, big guy, how's it hanging? Oh, you know, pretty good, like a strap-on in a porn dungeon. Rock hard, covered in pussy juice. <laughs> <laughs> you like that? I got, I got a ton of them. You can ask me again. Hey, how's it hanging? Uh, like a fat meat fence Mr. post. Mr. Ryan? Oh, uh, Mr. Vice President, hello. Uh, hello, thank you for asking me to stop by. You know who won the war? I believe that we, d we did. No, not the grunts in the front. It was the uh, fellas behind the scenes, the intel gatherers, ah, the yeah. code crackers. I need you to be my West Wing wiretap. Need you to spy for me. Yes, sir. Selena freezing you out, old timer? Oh, absolutely. Cycle of abuse continues. Like the Catholic Church. Yeah, we're an Arkansas wedding. Oh, boom. Lean down, high five. All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's it, Jonah. Thank you. Uh, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah, he's a good kid. <clears throat> Excuse me a second. So, you hate me, right? I'm sorry? No, no, I'm kidding. We're buds. But I'm the vice president's chief of staff. You know, you came to see him directly. I didn't know you were coming, so... Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to not... I didn't okay. mean to step out of line. Oh, no. We could, we're friends forever. All right, okay, cool. Hey, well, thanks, Teddy. You're a good man, Jonah. We need guys like you because this game takes guts. Yeah, right? yeah. And it takes balls. Whoa. You got him, buddy. Yeah, elevator's here. Yeah, the um, vice president likes you. I like when he likes people. So just text me before you come over. I'll always let you in. Okay. It was great talking to you. Oh, hey. Uh, if any of you new bitch puppies need help find the mommy teats around here, you can just ask a West Wing vet. Okay. Oh, how's the, uh, how's the new Veep's office? What? The new Veep's office. It's great. I mean, why are you even asking him? It's so good. It's fucking, it's great. Me, Doyle, I mean, come on, I mean, Teddy, of course, Teddy. So good over there, guys, so good. Hey, Jonah. Hello, hi, hello, sir. Better think of a way to make me feel good. Okay. Of course. Uh, I could go get you some Pringles. Or, Teddy or, uh... done you a solid. On my advice, the Veep's gonna ask you to be in the family's first talks with Dan Egan. Oh, that's fantastic news, sir. You simultaneously made my day and ruined his. Thank you. Shine brightly. Tap, 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 tap. All good? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. What a day. I feel like this is going to be a key scene in my biopic. Hey, I need a shirt. This isn't Die Hard. Hey, sugar tits. Did you stroke and choke the rules committee? Oh, yeah, absolutely. He can drop the ball a little bit, but I picked it up. He's a good kid. Jonah, I am so proud of you. I could squeeze you like a sponge in the shower. Yo, yeah, yep, I'll come with you. I know about you spreading the Danny Chung torture room. Oh, well, that's useless leverage right now, Jonah, because you have all the credibility of someone who hacked the medical records no. of a sick child. Hey, no. Hey, I am Groot. Stop swapping spit here with Pretty Woman and get me Brock and Hunter. Absolutely, sir. It's just on my way to go do that. It's an important meeting, okay? It's seminal. <laughs> oh, hey, you already did this great joke. Damn, man, this guy's <laughs> balls are so big they're practically tits. Huh? Johnny tit balls. Yeah, don't <laughs> squeeze the milkers too much. <laughs> milkers! Love it! You were firing me? What the hell was that? Nothing, it's just jock stuff. You know, just guys having fun. That isn't Jonah, that's sexual harassment, Jesus. Does he do that to you all the time? No, not all the time. Sometimes, but not all the time. It's just high spirits. Hey, why are those lovely long legs walking away from me? Probably means you. Yeah, it's okay, I got, I got this. I am not in the blame game, but that rainbow-colored clusterfuck in there was entirely your fault. Oh, okay, no, uh, Kent Davis had pulled other candidates for Veep. What the fuck, did you just throw Kent into the blender to save your own ass? Not fully into the blender, I mean, maybe just a little bit, just the toes. Or the... That is the Jonah I've been trying to wake up since the day you got here. And Kent Davidson is a disloyal fucking prick. I fucking hate Kent. I want to wipe that neutral expression off his face. Here's how we're going to do it. Okay. We're going to leak that the VP is dissatisfied and that he's thinking of walking. We're gonna force POTUS to back Doyle. I will not let you down. All right, so what kind of media contacts do you have? Liz Kerrigan. Liz. Liz. How hard can you work this Liz? Oh can my God, I can ride her hard, hang her up wet. 
I like what I'm seeing, all Listen. right? Show me more. Thank you, I will. Gold barrels. Oh. Fucking nightmare. Jonah, we need to talk. Uh, we are just in the car with Leon West's mother. Do you need anything, ma'am? No, I'm good, thank you. Great. Jonah, I know something's happening at the VP's office. Oh. Okay, you do. I need you to tell me what's going on. And uh, do I have to tell you that right now? Mm, yes, you do. You know, I was thinking we could stop for a coffee. Uh, Teddy's been touching me. Or tea? Uh, just processing that. Wait, Mr. Davison? Shit, am I on speakerphone? <laughs> Sorry, Jonah, what happened exactly? Um, well, he, uh, he, he cupped my testicles. On another occasion, he uh, patted or, or tapped on my testicles. And then on another occasion, he uh, held my testicles for a significantly long time. Guess what? I just got engaged. Are you fucking kidding me? Catherine's there too? Hi, Jonah. Jason proposed and I said yes. Well, shit, congratulations. Marriage is good. This is a fine institution. Don't tell my mom. I want to surprise her. Jonah, is there anything else you want to tell us? I don't know. Is there anybody else in the room? It's just myself and Bill again. And I'm here taking notes. Sue's there. Fuck. OK, well, no. There's nothing else that I have to say. I'm pretty sure that I'm the only one that Teddy's been touching, OK? Thanks, guys. Great talk. OK, we got nothing out of that but a funny story. Hey, Catherine, about earlier, the molesting. What? Hmm? Wait, what? Hey, look, there's your mom. 30 years as a senator, and your asshole's getting more screen time than your face. I understand you've been feeling up Jonah Ryan. And by up, I mean all the way up. Congressman for long does not want to hear this. Oh, which means I absolutely, totally fucking do. Please go on. I understand you've been twirling Jonah's balls like there's some kind of exotic stress reducer. I wish someone would sexually assault my staff. My staff, I mean penis. <laughs> oh, you guys are serious? No, listen, I mean... <laughs> Which of us hasn't gotten all up in some guy's junk? You know, just for a laugh. I, haven't. I want you to use your dirty hands, clean out your desk. You're fired. You, sir, everything I have done, everything, has been to serve you. And that goes double for fondling Jonah. Oh, God, this place has been dead ever since Doyle left the ticket. Doyle, Amy, Lee, Karen, Dan. I mean, this place is leaking bodies faster than a Chinese ferry. And you know what? Just as I was getting some responsibility, right? Little... Hey, Jonah. Hey. Teddy sends a message. No, don't you dare touch my wall. No, a joke's not a joke unless everyone can laugh at it. This is what I have to look forward to. A bunch of fucking half-wit jokers trying to grab my balls. Hello. Oh, pleased to meet you. Ruth Forrester. Pleasure. Jonah Ryan. This is my personal assistant, Richard Splett. Splett? Splett. Ah, uh, Splett. Please have a seat. Oh, thank you. Uh, will the senator be joining us? Um, Mr. Ryan, we asked you here today with regard to a Mr. Theodore Sykes. Uh, Teddy. We're bringing a class action against him, and we'd like you to testify. We've all been the victims of Teddy's inappropriate sexual behavior. Am I the only man? That he... As far as we know. Okay. All right. Well, obviously, there has been some sort of mistake here because what happened between Teddy and I was, was not consensual, uh, obviously. I, there was the, the ball, the cupping, the, the grabbing, or the, the, uh, the clutching. There is no shame here, Jonah. Let it out. Oh, I understand there's no shame because it was locker room tomfoolery and nothing more. You're saying you weren't assaulted. Uh, sir, you don't have to answer that. Oh, is this man your attorney? Uh, no. Not technically. Let's go. Right now. Teddy can't hurt you now. I'm not worried about Teddy. I'm worried about you. Jesus fucking Christ. You all look like me. This is a nightmare. It's a fucking nightmare. Mr. Ryan? Yeah? Louise Benjamin from Cabinet Affairs is here for your meeting. What? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Hello. Hi. Is this a joke? I'm sorry? Honestly, why are you here? I'm collating agency responses. And how tall are you? I, 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 I am sorry, ma'am. A number of tall women were molested, and Mr. Ryan was one of them. Mr. Ryan, it has come to this committee's attention that you suffered some emotional issues during the run-up to the family's first bill. I was touched. Who touched you? I would rather not say at this time. 
Or, or any. Can you give us a reason why? Um, excuse me for one moment. I just have a very, uh, a very dry mouth. Setting their identity aside. Setting their identity aside. Where did this person touch you? Uh, he touched me in a uh, private place. Can you be more specific? Was it the buttocks? No. No. It was... It was around the other side. The crotch, presumably. Was there ever any contact between testicles and hands? Okay, uh, l listen, I thought that this was supposed to be about lobbying, and, and it seems clear that the congresswoman is pulling focus away from the main concern of this panel. I, I similarly, with uh, uh, Ms. Bruckheimer's dress, she can't have believed that this would work. She never looks this humble. I'm not, I'm not sure what you're referring to, Mr. Ryan. This is my, um, my everyday attire, and but, I'm, I, I apologize if it offends you, but... But, I mean, you saw what she just did with the... I mean, you saw that. She is playing you like a cheap... Uh, you gotta careful. Like an Xbox. Mr. Ryan, trust me. No one is playing us. We are unplayable. I'd like to hear more on the charges of molestation. Go ahead. Was there ever any contact between testicles and hands? No. Never. My spheres were always clothed. I was in the workplace. Did so he I... always grow both testicles? I'm sorry, but can I be asked that question by a male committee member? No. I asked the question. I, I'm sorry, I forgot the question. Uh, did your abuser touch both of your testicles? Thank you, Mr. Egan. Sure. Well, who else was aware of this during your time at the White House? I, uh, I also uh, saw it. Uh, I can't stop. I can't stop thinking about it. It's a, you know, it's like it's like a bell. It can't be unrung. Where did you see it happen? Uh, it was around the spheres. I meant what area of the workplace? Oh yes, no, I'm sorry. Yes, uh, it, uh, it was in, in a hallway, uh, same time as Dan. Everybody, give it up for Band of the Horses. Wait, what? Oh, band, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Give it up for Band of Horses. Band of Horses. I just want to say thank you for uh, supporting the uh, men's health uh, campaign and uh, letting me tell guys that they should feel themselves up. <laughs> Easiest job I ever had. <laughs> you guys remember my, uh, you guys remember my catchphrase, right? Remember it? Just to jog your memories, remember, check them, don't neglect them. Nice. You guys remember the A-team, right? A-team? I'm the A-team. <laughs> Mr. T. Um, uh, they, were, they were supposed to be on the run, but, uh, you know, they were in a really distinctive van. Yeah, what was, what was, up, what was up with that? Hi, I'm J Hey, Jonah, could I get a child size 12, please? What are you doing here, Teddy? I'm looking forward to some bowling. Although... Pocket pool is more my game. You listen to me, you fucking weirdo. I was a victim, but I am not gonna let you define me. Nice blog, Mary. You know what? People like you, you look like us, but there's a little piece missing. You're like a different species, and one that I hope gets struck from the earth because you're a bully, and Jonah Ryan stands up to bullies. Yes. Yes, he does. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, this is a no haters out. Okay, you and Boo Boo the ball finally bear here have exactly two seconds to get the fuck out. Our work is done here. Tell Selena hello. Yeah, great place for an event, and the teenager selling cocaine in the bathroom thought so too. Oh, looking good, 26.